Hey, welcome back, guys, to another exciting episode of Adventures in Welding. Unless you don't like welding, then it's not going to be very exciting, and I don't know why you're here. But let's just assume you do like welding. Let's have some fun. It's a brand new year, 2015. Woo! Let's say that you're planning on going to welding school this year. Well, today we're going to take a look at what your first... Well, it depends on what kind of welding school you go to. If you go to like the Hobart School or the Lincoln School where they have very concentrated programs, this might be your first week. If you go to a community college like I do, this might be your first month of welding. And what we're going to do is we are going to take our 7018 rod. This is one inch, or one inch, one eighth of an inch. This is probably the first rod you're ever going to touch. And to be quite honest with you, depending on what you end up doing in life, this is probably going to be one of your main rods. It's probably going to be this in a 6010, maybe a 6011. Unless you spend your entire life hard facing, in which case you might be 110 18s or something like that. But the 7018 is a very popular rod, probably the most popular out there. All kinds of different places make them. Hobart makes them. Uh, Harbor Freight makes them. But the best ones are Lincoln X Calibers. The Lincoln X Caliber rods. Next, we've got a, about an eighth inch piece of mild steel. And what you're going to, first thing you're going to learn how to do is run a bead. We're going to skip that. We're going to assume you know how to run a bead. So I'm going to run a pad of beads here for you. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to watch everything. And I'm going to show you what your instructor is going to want it to look like. And then after we do that, if there's still time, We'll do a little fit up and weld here. We have the same um, piece of mild steel. A uh, little bit of two inch schedule 40 pipe. And we'll weld that on there kind of like we're making a flange. And that'll, that'll give you if, you, if you're just getting started, this will give you a real challenge because rod angle, as you know, is very important. So you need to keep your rod angle the same as you make your way around the pipe. How are you going to do that? We'll talk about it. But let's get started with the pad of beads. All right, guys, about 45 minutes has passed since I last saw you. Probably about two minutes for you guys watching on the sped up version. But here we have the pad of beads. All right, I'm going to get in closer so you guys can see it and see what's going on. In three, two, one. All right, guys, here's my pad of beads. This was, again, done with 1 8 inch, 7018. 
Now, one of the important things you want to take note of when you look at this is no balance. If I can bring you down here. See how that is relatively flat? All of the beads are basically the same height. Now this is the end where the metal was getting a bit hotter. So you can see it's a little bit wider of a bead even though I turned down the machine 10 amps. But all those beads are relatively the same size. A couple bad spots here. They got like, like a cavity. You need a dentist to come in there and drill them out. But you can see that this is this is the end I started from. That's the finish end. And guys, that is our pad of beads for today. I'm gonna save the uh, pipe flange welding for the next show. I think you had enough of me today, right? Yeah, small doses. But I'll see you again. I will. You watch me. Mm -hmm.